Chapter 18 Gold or manure? Dominic repeated the words aloud as he scratched his head. Actually, there's neither. Not in the America I know. Sometimes you can find money on the streets, but not very much. Some people get rich if they work hard, but others work hard and never get rich. I'd be glad to have the chance to work for some gold, Salvatore said. I want to work as a cowboy. Do you know a lot about cowboys, Dominic asked. Salvatore knows all about them, Antonio assured him. Angelo Ferretta's uncle showed me pictures of them, Salvatore said proudly. They were wearing big white hats, and they had shiny guns and silver spurs. He talks of nothing else since he's seen them, Francesco muttered. I will come and visit you, Francesco, in New York City, Salvatore promised. I will get a job and buy us each a gun and a horse, and we can ride over to see you. Then we can sit under the stars at night and eat linguine together. Dominic closed his eyes and tried to imagine the cowboys he remembered from old western movies. You know, I don't think cowboys ate linguine under the stars, he said. No? Salvatore looked surprised. Then what do they eat? Pizza? Well, I don't think cowboys ate pizza either. Dominic said. Well, what then? Antonio asked. Beans, I guess. Lots of beans, Dominic told them. I think it's going to be different from what you're expecting. I'm expecting to see those big hairy buffaloes, Salvatore informed him. Dominic grinned and reached into his pants pocket. He pulled out a half a dozen pebbles before pulling out his nickel. It was an old Indian head nickel that he had found on Ninth Street back home in Brooklyn. He held it out to Salvatore now. What coin is this? Salvatore asked, turning the nickel over in his hand. It's an American Indian head nickel, Dominic told him, and on the other side is a buffalo. Salvatore sighed with envy. I cannot understand the words, but I can see it's a buffalo. I wish I had one, he said, tracing it lovingly with his finger. It's a pretty rare nickel, Dominic bragged. Not a lot of kids have one. You are so lucky to have such a coin, Salvatore whispered. I wish I had something good enough to trade for it. Oh, I would never trade anything for it, Dominic told him. I just thought you'd like to see it. Dominic took a deep breath of the tang tangy pine-scented air, and he couldn't help smiling at over Salvatore's envy. He took the nickel back and held it in his hand. Then his eyes widened as Dominic noticed the date on the face of the coin. Look, he cried, the date on my nickel. I almost forgot about it. It's 1936. This is proof what I said was true. I'm from the future. Salvatore and the others peered down at the date on the coin, but they were not impressed. It's all in English, Francesco shrugged. How do we know what those numbers mean? It could be the date, or maybe just the number of the coin. Dominic put the nickel back in his pocket. He knew it was useless to try to convince them. What else do you know about cowboys, Salvatore asked. Let's see, Dominic said. I learned Home on the Range a long time ago, and that's a real cowboy song. Teach us, teach us, Salvatore and Antonio exclaimed at once. We want to learn to sing like real American cowboys. Even Francesco seemed interested, although he warned them to keep their voices low. Okay, Dominic laughed. He remembered how bored the mu boys in his music class were when their teacher, Miss Felkner, tried to teach them the song. Dominic concentrated now as he worked hard to remember the first verse. Awed into silence, the Candiano boys hung on to every word he sang, and soon the still night air was filled with the perfect harmony of their voices, singing just above a whisper. As the stars grew bright overhead, Francesco and Antonio were quick to fall asleep, but Dominic and Salvatore stayed awake, and they talked late into the night. You know, Dominic, Salvatore whispered, I hope to be like you some day. Me? Dominic said. Sure. You are brave and kind, and you know real American cowboy songs. 
He ducked his head shyly. You are my hero. I like you too, Salvatore, Dominic finally managed to whisper awkwardly. Looking at the stars overhead, the two boys talked about heroes and cowboys until they grew so tired they couldn't talk any more. It was a night Dominic knew he would always remember. He didn't want it to end. When Dominic finally closed his eyes, he was lulled by the voice of Salvatore, who softly sang, Where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day.